Sam from The Blind Spot. Uh, so today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about video games. Now I was born in the mid 70s and so I grew up in the 80s. Uh, we had the Atari then later on, actually the first one we had was the Odyssey uh, which had Pong on it and a keyboard and you could play a bunch of word games and things like that. But then we got the Atari uh, you know, growing up, I had the Nintendo Entertainment System, and later on I got my PlayStation. As I've gotten older, I've progressed in my video game systems. Um, right now we have three uh, Xboxes in our house. We've got a Wii. So, I consider myself a gamer, uh, a video gamer. But being visually impaired makes it very difficult. And as I get older, as my eyes get worse, it's getting even more and more difficult. The trend in games nowadays is making everything as realistic as possible in HD. And that's great and all, but really for me, the realistic games are really hard to play. Uh, I play a lot of first person shooters, Call of Duty, that kind of game stuff. And the problem is that your guy's wearing camouflage and he's blending into the environment and the enemy is blending into the environment and that's realistic, that's how it is in real battle, but it makes it really hard to be competitive and play with my buddies and be on their same level because it's hard for me to see what's going on. So plus having a blind spot, no central vision makes it really, really difficult. Um, what we need as low vision gamers is high contrast. And I really wish there was a setting on games to where you could turn on high contrast or, you know, invert the colors or something like that. I don't know. There's, there's lots of different ways that, that games could be made more accessible for the visually impaired. In fact, I was recently approached by a professor at a university who teaches game design uh, and teaches future game developers. And he approached me and asked me what my opinions are on video games and how they could be improved for uh, people with low vision. And I, I gave him some examples of games that I play that are easier for me to play. Uh, Minecraft is one. There's different skin packs you can get for Minecraft. One of the skin packs has very simplified textures for things. So, like, the grass block doesn't really look like grass, it's just green on top. It's very simple. The, the dirt block is just brown. It doesn't have all the little different colors and nuances of, of colors to make it more realistic. And that's great. I love that. It makes it so much easier for me to navigate that game when I'm using that texture package. And then there was a bunch of other information that I gave him to, that I thought, you know, could help in video games. But the main reason I wanted to talk about video games today is that I recently stumbled across this project, uh, this video game that's being developed, and I had no idea that this, these types of games, this genre of games was out there. Uh, but there's games out there that are being designed specifically for visually impaired individuals, and it's awesome. Uh, this particular game is called Three Monkeys, and I'm going to put a link to the developer's video uh, showing off this. It's kind of an introduction to the game and to the development team that's creating it. But the wonderful thing about this game is that it has very little visuals at all. In fact, the only thing on the screen are just uh, like rendered paintings of scenes uh, of like a landscape. And there's no visual cues for the game at all. It's all audio. So you play the entire game through the audio uh, system of the game. It's awesome. It's a fantasy game. It's an RPG game. You are basically a hero in this land, this fantasy land that has been cursed by this evil queen and she has cursed the sun, pretty much knocked the sun out of the sky. So it's plunged this world into perpetual darkness. And anyone that ventures out of this uh, certain village, there's not a lot of information about the game yet. It hasn't come out. But uh, I, apparently if you venture out of this village, 
you turn into this this beast you you succumb to the curse and you turn into this this mindless beast so the people in the village are trapped they can't escape and it's been like that for years and years and years and then you come along and the awesome thing about you is that you are blind so you're not susceptible to the curse it doesn't affect you so you are able to venture out on this quest to i imagine defeat the queen or this the evil witch and rescue the land so it looks it sounds really awesome uh, like i said there's there's not a lot of information out yet um, possible release date is the end of 2014 uh, there's not much information about how it's going to be released. They've talked about releasing it on Steam, which is a, a, we a video game website. Uh, then, but then they've also alluded to the fact that it might come out in other areas. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, because Steam is not very visually impaired compatible website, uh, gaming website. So I'm hoping that they'll just release this as a standalone game that you can purchase and put onto a computer or even more awesome would be like mobile on a tablet something like that uh, but that'd probably be a little difficult with the controls and such but apparently it's like I said it's all audio cues and they talk about there's a there's a combat system they they stress very highly that right now in the world of video gaming there are audio only video games but they tend to le lean more towards fear-based so when you can't see anything they they pump up the fear factor and you know you're being ch chased by zombies through the dark that kind of stuff so they really emphasize that it's not that kind of game it's you're a hero it's going to be fun uh, you're gonna be you know walking through the woods and you're gonna have to hunt for your food just by listening to the birds and shooting them with bows and arrows I mean and there's, there's a combat system, but it's all audio. So it really is going to be interesting. I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, I'll, I'll try and keep you guys up to date as to when this is coming out. As I said, there's going to be a link down below to where you can watch the video that uh, the developers have put out. It's very interesting and, uh, yeah, looking forward to it. So that's it, guys. This is Sam from The Blind Spot. Real quick video on that. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.